So guys, for the first step, you want to get into this screen. I'm going to show you two ways how to get here. So for the first way, you want to head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And now once you're on this, next to advanced startup, you want to click on restart now and then click on restart now again. It will then take you into that screen. And now for the second way, if you cannot sign into Windows, then you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on Advanced Options. And now once we're here, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. If you do not see Command Prompt, then you want to click on Seam Recovery Options, and then it should be right here. So you want to click on Command Prompt. And now once you're in Command Prompt, now we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash fix mbr. Click on Enter. Now we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Click on Enter again. If it says access is denied, just ignore it. Now we're going to type in bootsect space forward slash nt60 space sys. Click on Enter again. And now you want to type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter. Wait for this to load. And now once you do that, you just want to close out of command prompt. Now you just want to continue to Windows and then hopefully that'll fix your problem. If that's still not working for the next method, you want to come back to this screen like I'll show you how to do in the start of the video. Then you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now you want to type in chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space and now the drive where you have Windows installed on. For me, it's going to be C colon. For most of you as well, it's also going to be C colon. But if it's something else, you want to type in that drive letter and then put a colon. But again, for most of you guys, it's also going to be C colon. So now you want to click on enter. Now you just want to run this scan. It might take a while, but just let the scan load. It's going to take too long for this tutorial to show you this whole scan. But in your case, you just want to wait for the scan to be fully completed. Once it's been fully completed, you want to close out of this. And now you just want to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.